Hello my dearest friends and welcome back to our Provincial Russian channel. Today I'm going to film an extremely important video. I can see that it's the most important lesson of the Russian language here on YouTube. So if you are interested in the Russian language, if you are studying it, or maybe if you are just interested in Russia and Russian culture, and of course if you want to break the stereotypes about Russia and Russian people, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I am very grateful to you for your support and I am sending all my best wishes to you. All my love from Russia and let's jump right into the video. I'm sure you've seen many videos about Russians on YouTube, about Russia, Russian people and Russian traditions. And when you watch such videos you often see this. <laughs> there is such a great stereotype about this Nazdarovy because of one mistake in prepositions. Let's start from Russian traditions. I'm sure that you know that there is a stereotype about Russians that we are hot drinkers here, that most Russians drink a lot and you know it's partly a stereotype and partly truth. It's a pity but still, as for me I do not drink and I've never done this, that is why today I have such, such an amazing glass of water. I wanted to buy some kvass but I forgot about it, so I'm going to drink water today with you. Let's talk about Russian drinking traditions first. When Russian people drink, they like to say drink toast. And when they do this, they usually use the preposition za. This literally means for, someone or something. And when we drink for something, this means that we want to support something, we want to show our good attitude towards something or someone, we want to show our respect and something like this. For example, when someone has a birthday party, we drink for this person. Uh, for example, Vasya has a birthday party. Выпьем за Васю. We can drink for people, for cities, for countries, for maybe our neighbors. Выпьем за Белоруссию. Or of course we can drink for some abstract things, supporting these things. Выпьем за здоровье. Выпьем за любовь. Выпьем за мир во всем мире. We can drink for our parents, for our children. We can drink for beautiful Russian girls. We can drink for Putin, for bears, for our spaceships and so on. And of course in all these cases we should use the preposition за. Выпьем за Путина. Выпьем за медведей. Выпьем за русских красавиц. I've already mentioned that Russian people like to drink for health. Something incredible, but still, it's our Russian tradition. We usually drink for health, love and so on. Выпьем за здоровье. We can drink for someone's health. For example, if someone has a birthday party, we can drink for his or her health and so on, for his or her parents' health. Выпьем за Васина здоровье. If Вася has a birthday party, we drink for his health. And I'm sure that the person who once heard this phrase and used it in a wrong way in the internet created that famous stereotype that Russians say на здоровье when they drink. But we can't say на здоровье when we drink because the phrase на здоровье really exists and it has an absolutely different meaning. And now let's compare two phrases. На здоровье, the preposition на, and за здоровье, the preposition за. When I drink this water with you and I say за ваше здоровье, за здоровье, this literally means that I want to wish you health. This means I'm drinking something in honor of your health and I'm doing something to support my wish to wish you health. <laughs> I hope that you understand me. At the same time, the phrase 
на здоровье is a typical answer to спасибо when someone treats you with something, gives you something, or helps you, or does something good for you. And this literally means that when I give you something, I want the thing to make your health better. As I've already told you, it's very good to use this phrase when you treat someone with something. And I filmed a very good example for you. Nina? Возьми абрикос. Спасибо. На здоровье. Well, my water is almost over, and I hope that I've managed to explain everything to you. I think it's always so hard to explain these slight differences in the meaning of the prepositions of your native language when you feel everything just without any explanations. When you feel it. And it's hard for a foreigner to feel the same. Please don't make mistakes in the Russian prepositions. Learn Russian, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. See you very soon in my future vlogs. Thank you very much for watching. Share this video with your friends. And never say на здоровье when you drink with Russians or when you drink somewhere and want to act like a Russian. Please. I hope that this lesson was helpful to you. See you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Love you. Bye-bye.